In this video, I'm going to show you how to jack up your Mazda 6 or any vehicle for that matter so that you can safely work underneath the car. So the tools that you're going to need are basically a car jack and then you're going to need a stand that you're going to insert underneath the vehicle so that you know you have a positive support underneath the car. The first step before we uh, start lifting the car, you want to make sure the handbrake has been pulled and also you want to make sure the rear tires are chalked if you are going to be jacking up the front of the vehicle. If you are going to be um, lifting the front of uh, the rear of the vehicle then you want to make sure that at least on the opposite side both the front and rear uh, tires are uh, chalked as well. So when you're supporting the vehicle on a jack uh, these are unibody cars, so basically these cars will need to be jacked up in this area between these two nibs. So you will, using uh, your jack, you will either support it right here uh, by this plate that's on top, or if you're using the conventional jack that comes with the vehicle, you will be insert, you will be locating it right in here so we're gonna go ahead and push the jack in and start jacking with the jack pushed in uh, we are at that same location where we're supposed to jack up the vehicle we're now going to go ahead and jack the car up so now that we've got the vehicle jacked up we are now going to support it uh, with one of the stands and we are going to support this vehicle right here This is where the lower control arm comes in and attaches to the vehicle frame Attaches it to the front end frame on this side and then I guess the main frame on this side So we're gonna go ahead and slide the jack underneath here So I have got the jack located underneath uh, we are missing the bolt on this side and it is located pretty centered on the support so we're going to go ahead and lower the car slowly onto the jack and that's it if we were going to be working on this side of the vehicle then we want to leave the jack in its place so that it provides secondary support now if you wanted to jack the other side of the vehicle up then you would lower the jack and repeat the process up until now again for the other side. So in this next part, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and jack up the car from the back. And in order for you to jack up the car from the back, we will look for the same type of markers that we looked for in the front. These are the two locations where the jack has to be in between. So we're going to go ahead and position the jack at that location. Uh, we are correctly placed, so now we're just going to go ahead and jack up the car. With the rear end uh, jacked up, we can support the vehicle either right here, or we can look, uh, support the jack, uh, or support the back side of the vehicle uh, by placing the jack underneath this area. So here I've got the jack located. Um, in this area we can either drop the jack down or I can lift the car up slightly so that I have a little bit more room to be able to raise the jack up. So we're gonna go ahead and jack the car up a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to there. So we raised the arm and now we're just going to go ahead and slowly release the jack so that it can get supported by uh, the stand right there. All right. So now that we've got that in place, if you are working on the rear end only, the next best thing would be to leave the jack support in as secondary support. This concludes the video on how you can jack up a Mazda 6. If there's any questions, please ask them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer them in a timely fashion. Thank you for watching.
please like, share, and subscribe.